Salvation, dear friends, is not something to be played with and something that man can grasp in his mind and then put God in some kind of a box and hold him hostage to a formula. I was on Facebook and I saw somebody put this uh, post. In this post, they said this, Salvation is 100% God's work and 0% man's work. And I immediately knew where these things come from, these ideas. We have these doctrines, dear friends, these Calvinistic eternal security, once saved, always saved doctrines that are roaming in the churches today, in these mainstream Christianity churches. And they tell you that salvation is completely on God and man has nothing to do with it. Now, if I come and object on this post, it uh, will seem as if I am arrogant because if I say that we have responsibility, we are accountable, that we need to do something, then they will accuse me, they will accuse you of trying to steal credit, trying to say that you are saving yourself by your works, which is a lie, dear friend. The true biblical view, dear friend, is not that God has 100% work and you don't have to do anything. The true biblical view is that salvation is 100% God's work, but it is also combined with our willingness to deny ourselves completely so that we yield to the work of God in and through us. Our will has to be engaged in the process, dear friends. If I have to give an example, it's like somebody who is drowning. If I'm drowning and then somebody comes and throws me a rope, what I have to do, dear friends, is take that rope in my hand. That is step number one. And then I have to keep holding on to that rope. Who is doing the saving? It's not me. It is the man who threw the rope. This is salvation, dear friends. We cannot save ourselves unless God himself throws in the rope. But we still need to grab that rope and we need to hang on to it. Now, if I get to the shore, if I keep holding on to that rope, and then I get to the shore and I'm saved, did I truly save myself? Will I look at the man who threw me the rope and say to him, I held on so good. I deserve it. Of course I will not say that. Because it is God himself who throws in the rope, dear friends. He's the one who does the pulling to the shore. All we need to do is respond by grabbing that rope and holding on to it. There is no boasting in that. But when you come and say that Salvation is God's work 100% and man has nothing to do with it. Then you are opening yourself up to the devil, dear friend. Because then you can say, well, we don't need to repent. We can live in sin. Because if we say that we need to be obedient or repent, that means we are working. This is the garbage, dear friends, that is being preached today in these churches. They are removing man's accountability in his response to the salvation of God. It is our responsibility, dear friends, to stop these false heresies and bad doctrines that are roaming all around the church and snatching souls away from God, leading them straight to hell. We are accountable, dear friends, and God gave every one of us free will. He is able to operate above our free will, dear friends. He is God. He has our free will wrapped around his little finger. He's God, dear friends. These are the doctrines 
that are being preached. Don't let them deceive you. Don't let them snatch your soul away and let you be deceived. I seriously pray, dear brothers and sisters, that we don't take God lightly and we don't play games with Him. We don't mock Him with our silly little doctrines. I pray that we really get our focus on Christ and His words so that we see the truth. And then we can expose all the work of the devil when he comes to us with his doctrines. We need to focus on Jesus' difference and then we will not be tossed anymore by man's doctrine who is trying to get away with a little bit of sin allowing himself to do whatever he wants by protecting himself also with these doctrines once saved always saved and Calvinism all this garbage difference it is garbage this is what it truly is we have a choice to believe these lies or we can secure ourselves guarantee our walk with Christ by abiding in him and willingly submitting to him and yielding to the Holy Spirit when we yield to the Holy Spirit then we will let the work of God live inside of us and flow out through our lives dear friends but if we play games with doctrine if we resist the Holy Spirit then we will have no one to blame dear friends except ourselves when we stand before this holy Lamb of God Jesus Christ he will close the door to the hypocrites dear friends to the ones who played games with him by believing these doctrines the devil is responsible for these doctrines dear friends it's not God God is holy and he said be ye holy as I am holy who are we gonna believe who are you gonna believe dear friend the choice is yours and may God bless you Thank you.